Particle segregation is when particles separate based on different properties. There are three main types of mixtures. If there's a perfect mixture, when at any point in the mixture, it will have the same composition. Now this is ideal, but can't really be obtained in the real world. It's not, it's not actually capable of being done. A random mixture, which is usually what happens in, in real life, is when the possibility of finding one certain composition is the same at any point in the mixture. And a segregated mixture, where the particles usually have different properties, one component is more likely to be found in some areas, and it's not random. Now, why do particles separate? It's due to many different physical properties, such as size distribution, shape, and density, but it's mostly determined by the actual size of the particles. There are four main types of particle segregation. The first one is trajectory segregation. The part if a particle is under Stokes' law and it's projected horizontally, you can calculate the limit of the distance it can travel throughout space. So this is usually happens, this is segregation when particles are moving through the air. The second, time, second type is percolation of fine particles. This is when you have massive particles and each individual particle can move. These particles rearrange and when gaps open up, small particles fall down into those gaps. This happens when a mixture is disturbed or shaken, which is ironic because in a liquid or gas mixture, shaking the, the mixture would cause it to actually mix instead of segregate. The third type is the rise of coarse particles on vibration. This is when the, a large particle rises to the top. This is also called the Brazilian nut effect because a, a common experiment is when a, a larger object is placed into a beaker with smaller objects and then once it's disturbed, it's, the large object will rise to the top. The fourth type is Eleutrian segregation. This is when there is a, a stream of velocity air upwards, and if it's the greater than the terminal velocity of the smaller particles, it gets carried up with the air, but the larger particles fall down and settle out.